Hi, I'm Chester Ferrick. Today I'm going to introduce you to PyCore's Cool Power ZVS Buck Regulator Evaluation Boards. These ZVS Buck Regulator Evaluation Boards provide complete DC to DC converter function with a wide 8 to 36 volt input operating range with standard output voltages from 1 to 16 volts with currents up to 15 amps and efficiencies up to 98% due to its innovative zero voltage switching topology. There are two versions of the evaluation board with the only difference being the inductor footprint for higher voltage, lower current bucks. Now when you look at the board, the regulator is here in the center. The regulator itself is a highly integrated device with control circuitry, power semiconductors, and support components in a high density 10 by 14 by 2.56 millimeter land grid array system and package design. Just above the buck regulator is the inductor along with a few input and output capacitors. These are the only components needed to operate the device. The total area of the converter and required components is less than three quarters of a square inch allowing for up to 120 watts of power per square inch. The board has three test points that are close to the regulator allowing for accurate VN and V out measurements. Around the edges of the board are some test points for the I.O. pads for the converter. This includes the remote sense pin, an adjust pin for trimming output voltage up or down, and an enable pin. For devices with the I2C option, which offers fault telemetry and programming options, there are two address pins which are tri-stated and mapped to a 3-bit binary register so you can have up to eight addresses. Here are the clock and data connections. Please consult the ZVS Buck I2C interface guide for additional information. The interface software tool is available online and allows for quick evaluation and programming of the bucks. At the bottom of the board there are a group of pins used for paralleling devices. There is a sync in, sync out, error amplifier and tracking which are all used for parallel operation. The board is factory set with a jumper wire connecting sync 1 to sync ground. This wire should be removed for parallel operation. I recommend stacking the boards vertically if you are evaluating parallel operation. There are also two headers on the board. One header is for enable, which enables or disables the part. Another is to connect the remote sense line directly to an output terminal. An internal 100 ohm resistor is connected between the remote sense pin and V out pin to provide regulation when the remote sense is left open. With remote sense open, the converter will regulate 100 millivolts above its set point. To use the remote sense function, simply connect the remote sense to the desired reference node to be regulated. Finally, the power connections for the input and output can be made by either soldering or screwing wires to the plated through hole connections to the left of the board. Additional details including evaluation board build materials, schematic, and PCB layout are covered in the user guide. Thank you.